What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe. Click the tap bell icon to get notified whenever there is anything new on the channel. So my people, the first thing I want to share with you is a Jamaican man who get shoot up over Belize. See? A Jamaican man remains hospitalized in critical condition after being reportedly shot and injured by gangsters in Belize City, Belize on Monday night. The man, a Mason, recently migrated to the Central American country and there are no reports suggesting that he was affiliated with any criminal gang in the country. According to multiple media outlets, the Jamaican was pounced upon by three men while he was sitting on a chair near a basketball court on Mayflower Street in Belize City at about 8 p.m. on Monday. He was shot several times and was taken to hospital where he remains admitted. The gun attack occurred a short distance from a police checkpoint that was established. The police in Belize have since launched a man on for the gunmen who fled the scene after the shooting. Jano, so speedy recovery to this man, you know what I mean? And some of the time, I wonder why Jamaicans find themselves a certain countries or a certain island. You know what I mean? Because no for them island yeah, even Guyana me see some Jamaicans ago. Guyana worse than Jamaica, you know. You see me I say? Guyana worse than Jamaica. I tell you know, some part of Guyana, I don't know about the part the, like the town and the city them. But Guyana still back in the of back in the days people live there. You know what I mean? People will live in the Amazon. You understand me I say? I just know since them find Isla Guyana, them kinda of step up certain way. You know what I mean? Some wonder why Jamaicans find themselves a certain third world countries. I know so we all look better, but some of the time we, we have to just love some places. You understand? So as I say, I wish this person a speedy recovery. You know what I mean? So we are going to move on to the next my people. So the next thing I are going to share with you is car boss charge for murder. Detective assigned to the Portmore Criminal Investigation branch have charged 20-year-old Miguel Tracy, otherwise called Carbas, for the murder of 50-year-old Dina Griffiths almost a year ago. The incident took place along Long Lane Portmore Villa in St. Catherine on February last year. Tracy was also charged with conspiracy to commit murder, possession of a prohibited weapon, and unauthorized possession of ammunition. It is reported that Tracy and another man pounced upon Griffiths and opened gunfire at her. She was taken to hospital where she was pronounced dead. On January 5, 2024, Tracy was arrested and charged following a question and answer session in the presence of his attorney, Jaja. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And people, two person shot, one of them dead in a two different incident in the same area. You know what I mean? So I'm sure that we don't know. I also have a little clip. I go, I can watch that also. You see me after the police I explain what occurred, right? One man dead, another injured in separate shooting incident on Golden Street, Kingston. A man is dead and another hospitalized after two shooting incidents which occurred hours apart on Golden Street in Kingston on Thursday. Police are reporting that about 2 a.m. unknown assailants gained entry to a house on Golden or Gold Street through a back fence and opened gunfire hitting the lone occupant who was lying on his bed. The man was rushed to hospital where he was pronounced dead. So I'm going to play the clip and all people. I couldn't hear what the police them are saying. The most I can say is that um, at about uh, 2 a.m. Um, this morning, uh, unknown assailants uh, came through a back fence to a premises, number 4 Gold Street to be exact, and um, went into a dwelling house and opened gunfire at a young man who was lying in his bed. Um, that young man was rushed to the Kingston Public Hospital uh, where he was uh, pronounced dead. His identity is uh, Ronaldo Brown. So the scene was processed and uh, 
at about 6, the police was also called uh, to another shooting at the same number 4 Wall Street. A young man was seen suffering from gunshot wounds. He was also rushed to KPH. Luckily, that young man is still with us and he's undergoing treatment at this point in time. He has some reports from the medical staff there. Uh, the, his condition is stable at this point in time and so we are hoping for the best where he's concerned. What we are picking up, because in recent times there's a bit of tension um, down in this space and is as a result of an internal gang feud that is taking place. Our investigation is pointing to uh, members of the gang who would have been um, displaced or defected somehow and so we are conducting our investigation surrounding um, a number of persons. Of course the investigation is still in its embryonic stage but we will be very rigorous in our pursuit of individuals who might have been able to assist us with the investigation um, in these matters. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Bless upon yourself and thanks for watching.